Welcome to Channel 18 News. I'm Jim Rogers. Sheriff's investigators are calling it a murder-suicide. Hopkins County Sheriff's Department deputies were dispatched to a residence just off County Road 2408 about 9.45 a.m. Monday morning after communications officers received a call about the welfare of family members and upon arrival found two men dead of apparent gunshot wounds. Sheriff Lewis Tatum said there had been a history of violence between the two brothers and the last time the brothers had been seen was sometime Sunday. The men were identified as Jerry Shortnacy, age 50, and Jonathan Shortnacy, age 44. Both were thought to have lived in the mobile home where they were found. Justice of the Peace Brad Cummings was called to the rural residence to and pronounced both men dead about 11 a.m. He ordered autopsies on both bodies. They were sent to the medical examiner. Texas Ranger John Vance was also called to the scene to assist Hopkins County deputies and investigators. Dr. Mark Bryant and will be the keynote speaker, and Dr. Ray Keck, president of Texas A&M University Commerce, will serve as master of ceremonies for Hopkins County's 27th annual Martin Luther King Jr. Awards Ceremony. It's set for 7 p.m. January 15th at Morning Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. The, dark, the Dr. Martin Luther King holiday celebrates the life and legacy of a man who brought hope and healing to America, according to organizers of the event. They commemorate as well the timeless values he taught through his example, the values of courage, truth, justice, compassion, dignity, humility, and service. These radiated from Dr. King's character and empowered his leadership, they stated. On this holiday, they commemorate the universal unconditional love, forgiveness, and nonviolence that empowered his revolutionary spirit. A number of awards will be presented at the event. For more information regarding the event, see kssdradio.com. Wednesday, tomorrow in Hopkins County Court at Law, a jury will be picked to hear the appeal involving the custody of hundreds of cattle seized by Hopkins County Law Enforcement and the SPCA of Texas and owned by George Lawrence Bergen, age 61, of Silver Springs. The appeal will be heard by a jury impaneled in Hopkins County Court at Law on Thursday. Bergen was arrested December 4th, charged with cruelty to livestock failure to provide a state jail felony. Here's Don Julian with sports. The Saltillo Lions basketball team won their final game in a bowls tournament last Saturday. The Lions topped Quitman 47-32. The Lions led 24-12 after one quarter, and it was 31-16 at the half. Quitman cut into the lead some in the third quarter, but the Lions were still holding on to a 39-27 to lead after three. The Lions outscored Quitman 8-5 in the fourth quarter to wrap up the win. Chris Bocorse led the Lions with 15 points, and Matthew Gurley scored 14. Levi Hoover had six points. Trevor Moore scored five points. Branson McGill, four points and Walker McGill scored three points. The win improved the Lions' season record to 13-11. and 11. The Lions are playing Honey Grove Tuesday night. Thanks for watching Channel 18 News. Have a great evening.